Hi, I'm Aris Rusnos. I'm a journalist for Vice News. Live gunfire echoed out. The crowd have scattered. I'm good. Put your sunglasses on. Earlier this year, we went to Beirut in Lebanon at a time of uh, increased border tension with Israel. Everyone was expecting a, a new outbreak of war between Israel and Lebanon, but that didn't happen. But in the meantime, we got to enjoy some of the, the culinary delights of Beirut, one of the food capitals of the Middle East. Yeah, incredible food there. Um, everyone in Beirut knows the Ichkanian Bakery. It's famous across the city. It's been going for decades. They make lamajun, it's a kind of minced meat flatbread uh, snack. And it's strongly influenced by the flavours of Gaziantep and Aleppo, both cities back in the headlines because of the Syrian civil war. Ellie. Hey man. How are you? Good to meet you. How are you? Hey, so this Welcome is it. To Ishkanian Bakery. Uh, the background was uh, the Armenian Genocide, uh, 1915. Uh, my grandpa came first, uh, 1920s, and then my grandma came from Antep, and they established this business. During the war, the business was much better than now. It's almost double or triple. Why is that? I guess uh, at, during that time, uh, Bajint was an easy food and uh, cheap, I guess. Uh, I have Syrians, maybe 50% are Syrians. Uh, I have five or six Syrian ladies, Armenian. Daily or weekly, few Armenian comes and they want to work because they need, uh, they need money. But unfortunately, you know, I cannot uh, take all of them. As much as we can, we have to help anyone, not just Armenians. But uh, in this work, because it's Armenian food, mm. so I prefer to be Armenians. Of course. Uh, we open the shop at 7 a.m., but we start working at 9. We, from 7 a.m. till 9, we do the preparation, and at 9 o'clock, we start uh, the orders. The process of Lama June, first we make the dough, and then we make uh, the balls. And then, when the order comes, we, we took the balls, we open it by hand, everything by hand. We have no machines. And then, after we open it, it goes to another guy, he puts the meat on it, and then and then from that section to the oven, from the oven to the wood, towards the packaging area. How many do you make every day? Uh, it depends. Saturdays, Friday, Saturday is the busiest day. We make maybe 1,000. Really? Yes. Sometimes uh, Sundays make few thousand, few, two or three thousand a day. How much is each one? Uh, each one, uh, maybe 80 cents. Yeah. Kitchen. This is, this, is, this is the main kitchen, the preparation area. So we're gonna start with the, the meat. We're gonna mix the meat now. So this is for the half kilo of meat. We're taking the tomatoes. It's fresh tomatoes. Pepper. We wash it. The ingredients, uh, we use uh, fresh meat daily. We go to the butcher 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., not me, my mom. Half a kilo meat, almost one kilo of tomatoes. We put in the mixer. The vegetables, they all fresh. As much as we can, we bring organic. Is that your decision to use like organic produce? Yeah, it's a much better. The, the quality, you know, the quality and the taste is much better to use organic. We put garlic in it, tomato, parsley, uh, and the peppers. So we put uh, half a kilo meat in it. Sure. And then now he's gonna trim the parsley. We always uh, trim it uh, by hand. I love that smell of parsley. Like yes. Fresh. Fresh. And then we mix it. So he mixes it all by hand as well? All by hand. It's always old fashioned way. Yeah. It's uh, much better than the new technology and everything. So he's drained some of the water out, puts it yes. back in, keeps mixing it back Mix together. Mix it again and then again. We drain the water. So we only do two kilos. So it stays fresh. We don't make it like 10 kilos and wait for the customer to come. So we make it by orders.
Oh wow. This okay. Very simple. Pretty basic. Very tasty. Very fresh. It's good. It's really good.